All right, so here today, I thought I'd talk about this. I also kind of uh, wanted to compile a few topics here. I never really covered the tier list rankings we got for, again, Mary and Ray, because I'm kind of busy with other stuff, so I didn't get to do that. I also want to give you my take on this collaboration, and I want to hear your take. Our first ever, first ever collaboration of its kind, a triple ca uh, character SSR collaboration, uh, four characters total, correct? Uh, that is one extra character from our usual collaboration standard, basically just adding in one SSR character. Uh, usually how it goes is with again near it was a uh, a2 and 2b alongside pascal but pascal was the sr with this collaboration you had three ssr characters with the side of misato being the sr character first of its kind in my opinion i do like these collaborations my hot take really quick my tldr of this entire collaboration was uh, minus the the aspects you might be looking for again being fan service or whatever i think that this formula being a four character collaboration might be the way to the, to do things moving forward it might be the move just because again for so many different ips i think that this will be the best way to implement things into the game. And again, for IPs that uh, deserve it. For example, Konosuba, my, my prime example, uh, that collaboration will get butchered if you do two characters and one is SR, where you have Megumin, um, Aqua, Darkness, who's the SR? Who would you say, right? Let's say it's Aqua. There, there is a, a pretty decent fan base behind Aqua. You kind of, you know, butcher there. You add four characters. Let's say, who do you make the, the SR now? You have so many other characters you can add in there. Uh, Wiz, again, um, the, the rival of Megamine, right? So many characters could pop in. I think that this formula might be the move. And I do think for what this collaboration did on character kits and everything, they really put each character in their own degree to be a watered-down version of a different character into the game. Not again in a context watered-down. I'm trying to say like a different version, a collaboration version of a character. Character. Uh, so if you are missing some uh, core characters, this is a great way to start your game off if you come to this collaboration uh, or come to Nikkei for this collaboration. And let's say you picked up these three, you picked up some of the stronger characters or again, characters that mimic other character kits, which is very smart, right? So again, thought I'd talk about this. There to the channel, like and subscribe, helps out a ton. We'll also talk about the tier list rankings at the same time while I'm going over this. Let's hop over there and let's check it out. So again, first things first, we'll start off here. I know prywin has been in some controversy lately. Uh, what I will still say is this, I use Prywin for the reason of they are correct to a degree sometimes i disagree with them as always you can disagree with my takes i can disagree with your takes they can disagree with their takes whatever 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 right but i do think that they still hold a, a semblance of still correctness so that's why again i do use them here and there um again i would use other things like nikkei uh, gg but they sadly don't update ever so i don't know when the last time they updated this but again if you filter by this we sadly don't have an update. I don't know when they update this or how this operates, but for example, again, you see that they clearly haven't updated it. So um, we're stuck with this, all right? And again, I always use JP. So if you'd rather have JP, you have JP's ranking too. And again, JP usually agrees with what Primate says because they all have a similar take because it's the correct take. But here we go. First things first, Asuka. Whatever it is, Asuka is a very good DPSer. They gave you a great DPSer for the fire category. Uh, they did this at a great time where they're trying to implement some elemental, I think, team-based strategy, correct? Again, with the new uh, bosses there. There. She again got triple S, triple S, double S, triple S, A. This again got revamped because of the entire thing going on with the game. Um, but they still stuck to their guns there. They said, yeah, she still is triple S to us. She is still triple S. And I will say for the most part, she's a great damage dealer. She really is, right? I would say that um, it's not really a wrong answer to kind of have her there. I, I kind of agree that she is at bare minimum double S. I mean, I don't see anything below that. So seeing triple S, uh, seeing her be able to be paired with a Modernia and also kind of DPS on par with Modernia, that's what I consider her. Is she as good as Modernia? Maybe not, because again, Modernia has a clear, maybe Modernia has a few other things that can really help you, but to a degree, I could see why they say what they say. Over here, Triple S, Double S, S, Double S, uh, Double S, very well performing, great job. I think, again, another character who's a different, it's like she, she eats up a few kits here and there and is able to spit out a very powerful kit in the context of buffing her fellow uh, fire users or just being able to, again, support in the context of her AoE ult. It's, it's pretty good. Then you look at it again. You If you, if you miss crown, you have your crown level-ish buffer here. You have, again, double S, double S, double S, double S. She has very good potential. The only thing she lacks is survivability, but she makes up for that in raw pierce and other aspects. So, again, a B, uh, what is it, a B2 unit being, again, double S in most things. Ram was double S and, again, single S across the board. So, in this case, they performed or released a very good collaboration to any new player trying to pick up the game, where, again, you have three meta characters that serve three very solid purposes a dual fire unit uh, or a fire buffer in the case of ray in this case here with uh what is it mary you have a character who's able to again bb2 and buff up that category very well so they did good in this context right they really did think things through with that again 
I know the fan service thing. I get it. I know the skins thing, and I'm with you on that. I personally think that the skins and a few other aspects were a bit of a letdown, but I will say this format of a collaboration, this release uh, kits-wise and everything of, of a collaboration was pretty solid. Again, it's like, it, it is kind of on par with other collabs, but I do think that these ones were a little bit more cranked a little higher uh, compared to them. Like when A2 released, originally she was double S. I don't really think she touched triple S. And then 2B also, obviously time has been... Uh, a burden on these characters being they've they've dropped here and there as other meta defining characters did drop but i think that this collaboration it was it was held in a, in a very good degree in a very high standard again you see the rankings over here they did pretty good you see the ranking on, on jp they also did pretty good uh double s double s double s so again she ranks over here on par with their uh perception of naga and blanc they both correct because again b3s rank on par with characters like ein like characters like um Anise, Noir, Alice, um, characters like Scarlet, Laplace, Maxwell, which is true. I think that that's what they, they kind of rank with, right? Prywin more so says that they rank in, uh, or rather just, just Asuka more so ranks with, um, you know, Modernia and other, uh, again, pilgrims with that category. But I, to a degree, see what they're saying there. But again, I would say that at least bare minimum, look at it like this. Look at it as they rank on with these uh, top tier characters. And again, this is why this collaboration was very smart. You're missing one of these or three of these or four of these or, or two of these or whatever. How, however many amount of these characters, you just got a nice B, uh, B3 DPSer that can do very good in boss content in uh, content where she's not, again, um, maybe even 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 when she's not the uh, element advantage, she still does pretty good. They, they do pretty good. Ray also, you need someone that can push up your modernity. Let's say that's all you have. Again, we can help you formulate some sort of fire team, get you going here and push you with that. Let's say you skipped crown right you have a character here who's able to again now buff up your team let's say you don't have bunny team let's say you don't have a school girl team let's say you don't have any other b2 character who's able to buff well we gave it to you correct again yes she lacks uh survivability but beyond that she's a buffer so in the, to, to the degree of what they did with this collaboration it was a very smart play uh definitely again that's why you saw it wasn't terrible revenue obviously not the best revenue but it wasn't terrible because again for a lot of players pick up the game they're like yeah yeah, I, this is worth it. These characters are worth MLB. Uh, Wales also looked at it like, yeah, these are worth MLB, even maybe cores here and there. Because uh, again, each one served a purpose. They served the purpose really well. Players liked how they turned out. And that's kind of how it went, right? So in my opinion, the format of this collab being a triple collab, how they handled each character, I really do like it. Um, I Yes, I'm not a fan. I told you the skins. I, the only really skin I like is the one Oscar skin. Um, I, I definitely see that the points that are made, I, they're not wrong, right? As much as people want to dismiss that, they're not wrong points, but... I do think that how the collaboration was handled to the degree of uh, to the degree of content and everything it's pretty fun right four week collaboration the only thing is i understand the one point that i really understand is to players who didn't get uh or didn't like the collaboration they don't give a damn about it that stings because you're four weeks without anything new <laughs> right the the theoretically right uh because for four weeks you're not getting anything um because remember theoretically we're not getting a banner to the 19th because again this is our first ever triple I don't think they're going to do a banner. And they, they haven't announced it yet. We're, we're on Sunday now. No announcement. I doubt there's a banner this week. Almost 100%. Uh, which means we'll get our next announcement on um, the 12th, 13th, 14th of this week. Correct? And then we get our banner on the 19th. So, theoretically, if you didn't like anything. If you didn't like anything. You waited from the 21st all the way to the 19th. So, basically, four whole weeks. You sat there in pain so to that degree i understand if it was an ip or whatever you hated about it uh you've been here for a bit but it's still saving funds for who yeah you know uh, the one and only cinderella so there is that but um in the future i would love to see triple uh collabs here and there i would love to see it uh for an ip like stellar blade there's there's a lot of potential for an ip like uh Konosuba, a lot of potential kill a kill a lot of potential high school dc a lot of potential um what else is there what other ips would i love to see uh, I could see Final Fantasy have a lot of options also. I could see... What's that other one that we saw in the poll? Spy Family could have options too. Un unironically. There are there are easily three characters, four characters you can do. So for a lot of IPs, it could work out. One Piece, it could work out. So let me know what you think. That's what I got for you here today. Do you want to talk about this? Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And again, I wanted to also compile all the tier list rankings and everything. And uh, give you my take. So that is the conclusion. This is the last video. I just wanted to show you everything of how these characters got rated and everything. But... um. Each one serves a niche. Each one does it well. And if you want to skip them, go ahead and skip them. You, again, you have characters that are maybe more pilgrim or upgraded versions of them. You don't need them if you don't want them, right? Because again, you they, they are, it, to a degree, not like the, the wording is right here, a watered-down version of a different character. That's what they are. Again, not like horrible, but you know what I mean, right? Okay. <laughs>